dolphins are some of the ocean's most iconic creatures. But that's not the only place where these graceful mammals live. Less famous than their ocean counterparts, river dolphins inhabit some of the world's mightiest rivers, including the Ganges, the Mekong, the Yangtze, and the Amazon. Unfortunately, the pressures of boat traffic, dam building, fishing, and pollution have taken their toll on many of these freshwater dolphin populations. Most river dolphins are endangered. And in 2006, China's Yangtze River dolphin was declared functionally extinct in the wild. But in one part of the world, there is a glimmer of hope for river dolphins, the Amazon. Here in the Amazon, you can find two different species of dolphins. One is the Amazon River dolphins, and the other dolphin, the Sotalia, is one of the smallest dolphins in the world. Colombian biologist Fernando Trujillo is one of the world's foremost river dolphin experts. For years, I have been working with uh, river dolphins, almost 20 years. But so far, we don't know the numbers. And we are talking with governments to say, you need to protect the river dolphins. And they always ask how many dolphins are. Now, with the support of World Wildlife Fund and other conservation organizations, Fernando is searching for an answer to that question, embarking on the first ever census of South America's river dolphin population. So far, we have counted dolphins in the River Orinoco in Venezuela, in the River Meta in Colombia, and in a number of uh, tributaries of the Amazon in Peru and Ecuador. The numbers from some areas aren't encouraging, like in Venezuela's Orinoco River. I'm a little concerned with the Orinoco, because the numbers of dolphins we have found in the Orinoco are relatively uh, low, comparing with the Amazon where uh, in some countries like Peru, we found a, a very healthy populations of river dolphins with numbers above 2,000 animals for each species. But in the Orinoco, we have found something like 1,000 animals. And uh, we are very concerned. He and his team are slowly and systematically working their way through the dolphins' range, counting every dolphin they see. Dos metros. For each sighting, researchers use GPS data to log the dolphin's location and any other useful information. Along the way, signs of yet another threat to the river dolphins, logging. They bring the logs here, the, the wood, and they cut in pieces and send to Iquitos and other uh, uh, big cities. Besides logging, accidental capture and killing by fishermen and pollution are also putting the squeeze on South America's dolphins. But despite these threats, the team continues to spot dolphin after dolphin after dolphin. At one known dolphin hangout, Fernando pauses to photograph the animals so he can identify them later. He hopes to spot some familiar flippers. We have a catalog with about 176 uh, identified animals here. Each time we try to take pictures and see the natural history of each one of these animals. Back on the big boat, the results for this stretch of the Amazon are promising. I'm quite happy. So far we have seen more than 600 dolphins in a relatively small area of about 200 or 300 kilometers. So I can see the densities of dolphins are in good conditions here. As part of his mission, Fernando works to educate the people who live along the rivers about the importance of caring for the dolphins and their habitat. River dolphins are disappearing. So we can stop this process, but we need to be very creative and we need to work with fishermen, we need to work with the government, we need to work with children, we need to work together for this. It's a long road, but a promising one. With dedicated scientists like Fernando on their side, the river dolphins of the Amazon stand a fighting chance for survival. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs.
taking science and exploration into the new millennium.